Hey, this is Jeremy from Nuxt3 Tutorials. In Nuxt3, we only use the Composition API. And if you look at Vue, since Nuxt is a framework built on Vue, it looks like this. Now, the Options API, which cannot be used in Nuxt3, just in Nuxt2, would look like this. You have your data, your props, computed methods, and all that. The Composition API looks like this. Set up your basic usage, blah, 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 accessing props, set up contacts, and, and, and all that. So how does this look in code? In code, it looks like this. Here's an example, right? So you have your script set up, Langton here. Okay, so we have the template up here. Sometimes you can, where you put these doesn't really uh, matter. So this is your HTML. This is your JavaScript or TypeScript. I like to use TypeScript. And this is a, these are your styles, right? So how do you write this in Composition API? Well, first your script needs to look like this. If you wanna use TypeScript, then do it like that. If you don't, then you can just leave it out, all right? And so once you have that, if you wanna add some types, you can do it like this. Sometimes I prefer to have my types in a separate file. So you have your types, then your props for the component. If this component will need to have some props, then you write your props like this, right? You define your props, then menu is a property. It's an array of type NX link. And NX link is this up here. It comes with a name link, blah, 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 blah. All right. And then you have another uh, prop which is a type a Boolean and the default is true. Another one, shadow on children, default is true. If you wanna send events uh, from your component, then you use the emits like this, const emit, define emits like this. And so this will send an event called clicked. And then um, this is uh, just a regular reactive variable show children which starts off as being false if you need computed properties right you look, do it like this if you want to write functions the functions will look like this if the functions need an uh, asynchronous then you would do it like this and somewhere here you would have like um yeah async function and then you would have uh what do you call that uh, something like await and then blah, 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 right? All right, so if you wanna write another function, it looks like that. And that's pretty much it, you know, for how the composition API works in Nuxt3. Hey, if you want to learn how to write authenticated Nuxt3 application, if you wanna learn about Nuxt3 authentication, then I have I have a, a, a tutorial for you, which looks like this, but if you need help, do you want Jeremy to help you with your Nuxt3 stuff? Then click the link below. I'm gonna have a link if you need some help. You know, you can hire me and we can write code together. Okay, but if you wanna learn about authentication also in the link below, I should have where you can learn about how to create um, an app that looks like this and you can help you learn authentication and you'll be able to log in like that and be able to you know log out all right if you want jeremy to help you click the link below maybe i could help you with your next three stuff all right hey I'll see you soon